Dorada. How are you doing? How do you want it? Really, really nice looking campaign. Very, very consistent. I think the use of color is really consistent. I think obviously the, the typography and the whole general feel and the, the posture is super consistent um, from piece to piece through the ad. So let's take a look at each ad individually. How do you bunt it? Well, I'll tell you what, here's, here's where I'm at. We see this, this logo presentation. And the first thing I noticed when I was going through your pieces is that your logo jumps around in the campaign. Now, you, the, the logo, it does create a, a pretty nice consistency from piece to piece. However, when we look at each piece, the logo is located in a different spot. This being a campaign, we have to really draw a visual, solid visual consistency. I think in addition to the, the visual consistency of the, the gray background and the logo, I'm sorry, the typeface, I think that if we place this logo in a consistent spot in each piece, I think that's really going to help the consistency of the uh, uh, overall campaign. My recommendation would be go right there. In, in each piece and lower rights is a really great place for a logo, especially in a campaign because it's it's a nice exit strategy. The the eye we tend to look at compositions from the upper right um, to the lower left, left to right, top to bottom. So our eye is going in that direction anyways. Our eye is typically going to exit the comp any composition somewhere in this quadrant right here. So why not give them a nice little something to think about on their way out? Okay, hope that makes sense. I would do that on each piece, each piece in your campaign, including the magazine ad, which means you have to reformat that a little bit, and your other magazine ad. And okay, so uh, that's what I would suggest as far as the logo. Another thing with the logo is it looks like I'm going to have to zoom in here because this logo here has a treatment on it that's inconsistent with some of the other. Okay, you see that gradient. And the letters, the letter strokes have this gradient on it. And if we go to the next presentation and the next one after that, we can see that that gradient doesn't isn't seen there. So it's for a matter of consistency, let's keep that logo completely consistent. Um, okay, um, how do you bunt it? This is a billboard. Okay, Nordic Wear. Billboards are okay with minimal information. I don't think that this is, is going to be legible or readable at, at, at a distance and at a speed that it would be a billboard. Um, I like this composition much better. I think as a billboard, it's, it's easier to read. Um, this is, is really difficult to read. Think about a billboard. Typically, you're in, you're in some sort of transportation. You're in movement, uh, depending on how fast you go. It just, billboards are tough. You really got to be careful with the typography. For that reason, I would recommend using that same headline, same placement, pull your cake down a little bit, maybe bleed it off the ad. Okay. Um, next piece, again, uh, it, once you, you'll have to reformat this, maybe pull the snowman over to the left logo right there. Now, in the magazine ad, typically you want to add some call to action. You want to add a you want to add some words, okay? So if we move that logo right there, I think right there would be a really perfect spot for uh, a couple of paragraphs of information for the viewer. Same here. How do you, this one is just too centered. This one has so much symmetry that it's almost boring. Once you move the logo down there, I think hmm, this is a tough one because you're going to have to figure out a way. This one's easy. There's your tech, text block right there. This one is tough because what I would do here is, again, use that same, I think the one uh, story headline is better than the two story headline. I think it's easier to read. Um, although in, the, in these situations, I, it's, it's, definitely, it's definitely obvious that you need the two story headline. So that's perfect. That's reduce the size of that headline. I would say something like this. Um, watch my cursor, something like that for the headline. Since it's a magazine, it doesn't have to be so big. That way you have room for your body copy. See what I'm saying? There, in a magazine, you definitely want to add some information. You don't want to just give um, a headline. I mean, it's okay for a um, for a, a billboard because there's no time to stop and read a billboard anyways. Magazine, quite typically, people are going to spend some time. You want them to spend time on your page. 
You don't. You want them to. So you give them something to read. The more the longer you have your viewer's attention on your page, the more successful the ad is. So in, typically in a magazine ad, that does reside. I mean, um, depend on um, very much so on the placement of of type. Okay, now we have the how do you bunt it again. Let's get our logos down there in the right hand corner, lower right. And I would suggest that it, you I would suggest that you animate your type. How do you bunt? Just fade it in, you know, left to right. That's all. Something like that so you can show your 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 prospective employer that you you have that additional skill. It's really easy to do if you know it's really super easy to do. It's create an animated GIF. Um, I think that would really, really be a, help the presentation to show a little bit more, a uh, uh, little more depth in, in the designer's um, skill set. Okay. All right. So good job. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. Thank you.